Hello friends, welcome to Success Learners channel. This is Balaji. From today onwards, we are going to ask two tricky programming questions which will be useful for the placements, enhancing your knowledge and at the same time having some fun with programming. If you are visiting first time to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates from my channel. I think you are good enough in basics of Python programming so that you can answer these questions very easily. Pick the correct option and answer the question in the comment section. So let's start the first question here. So we are creating a variable x and we are storing an integer number in that variable. We are performing a bitwise operation on the variable x and we are going to print that x value. So here the options are 128, minus 128, 0 and the last one is 1. So comment the answer in the comment section and the second one is and the second question is similar to this one like we are creating a x variable and storing the integer value in it and we are going to perform a bitwise operator operation on x and storing it in a another uh, storing it in the x variable itself and then printing the x value. So here the options are same as the above one like 128 minus 128 0 and 1. I am going to answer these questions in my next upcoming video. So don't forget to answer the questions in the comment section. Okay guys, let's enter into the today's topic. Today's topic is, can we make a graphics using Python? Is it possible to make graphics with Python? Is it possible? Yes, it's absolutely possible. We can make graphics using Python. And it is very easy to make using Python Turtle open source library. So today I am going to show you how to draw graphical squares, circles and other shapes using the Python Turtles library. So let's see the coding part. Before going to teach you the Turtles module, I want to show you the basic design, the basic graphic design I did. So this is the small code. Let's run this one. See here, this is the output of the code here. This is the graphic design I made. It is as simple as you think like within four to five lines, you can create this type of graphic design. Even you can choose your own color, even background and the pen color also you can select. Uh, let me show you that one. So if you want to change the background color, you have to make the BG color. Uh, I want to make it as a black. So black color and then the pen color also we can change here. Pen color. I want it in green color. So in green color, even we can have the width also later I will show you. See here, you can see the background color and the pen color is also changed. This is just like a drawing board. You can put your own imagination thoughts on the screen itself. It's a very pretty one, right? Looking very good. I think you are understanding what I am telling. So let me show you how this is, how we are going to make a square first. So first of all, we have to import the turtle and then we have to initialize with this statement like t equals to turtle dot turtle. So and then for making a square, making a square, we need four lines. So I'm going to create four lines with t dot forward. This will take the amplitude like it is going to move if I am going to give 200 here, it is going to move 200 pixels from the exact position and then we have to turn, we have to turn 90 degrees upside. So in that 
it is taken as right. Here we have to provide the angle like 90 degrees and then we have to make another line here 200 same uh, for a square the all sides should be equal let's run this one and uh, you will get a clarity what it is going to be happen see here it is drawing two lines and then what we have to do we have to do another more two lines so we have to take a right here so we have to make right again with 90 degrees and then what and then we have to make another forward with 200 and then one right with 90 degrees see here three lines are over and then we have to make one more let's see the output here see here we made a square if you want to uh, if you want to make it cross a square like then you can make like 145 degrees let's move it to 145 degrees let's see this one see it is it is drawing in this direction instead of using these many lines we can make use of for loop here we can take we can delete all this and using for loop within two lines we are going to get it for i in range for i in range so we need it four times right so four lines we should we get t dot forward 200 and then t dot right 90 degrees that's it let's run this one and show you it is going to make a square so that's it if you want to choose uh, the background color you use bg color and if you want to change the pen color you can use pen color there and let's see the square how you are going to this is all about the square and then if you want to draw a circle so if you want to draw a circle what comment you have to do means see here here itself you can make like let's uh, remove all this one From the starting, I will show you like from turtle, you have to import all. After making this, you have to make just the you have to give a size, size of the circle. Like I'm going to make it as 100 and then use for loop here for i in i in range. So uh, if you want to make uh, two or three circles, uh, it is uh, your wish. I am going to make one circle here. So I am going to make circle with the radius of size here. We already defined its size. And then that's it. Let's run this one. See here, you are going to get the circle here. So if you want to make somewhat bigger like if you want to make three or four circles here, let me take six circles. And if you want to make them like 60 degrees, yes, it's perfect, 60 degrees. See how, how it's going to be happen. One, two, three, four. It is turning left side you why we use left side means that for that purpose we are used that one if we use right it will turn this side that's it you can make like background color bg color also bg color let's black suits well black and the pen color should be let's take red here red it suits and then let's define the width here with uh, with 15 15 the width of the pen let's run this one see you can see here how it's going to be happen 
whatever we think we can implement using this turtle library so that's it guys if you have any doubts regarding this turtle module any functions and how you are going to make this one just with a simple steps like simple functions are going to be used and uh, you can know the functions present in this turtle module using uh, google google it it will come all the functions you can just make over it if you have any doubts regarding this please let me know in this comment section thank you